<laughs> so come on in, take a sip. Let's wind down on the hump day grid. We have, it looks like we've got a uh, Wednesday, July 10th construction by Hal Moore, edited by Joel Faliano. And of course, um, it's not the Hal Moore, General Moore. Like a little yesterday's scare with whether or not Gary Larson was doing cartoons. Unfortunately, he's not. Uh, I think PJ and I both found that at the same time. It was a very interesting process, but it was nice to just dream about it a little bit. As uh, Puzzling with PJ put it to me in a note in our comments down below yesterday, it's got a grid. He said if it were Larson, there'd be a lot more cows involved and double entendre and uh, all these wonderful things. So. Anyway, let's hop into this grid. Let's see what we got. Today we're just having a plain old-fashioned Merlot from the Wheat Vineyard family, and it is just delightful as always. Warts and all, okay. Well, we got some funny looking circles going around here too, so let's see what we can come up with. Um, the Duchess of the Goya subject, I think that's Alba. And people said that majoring in art and literature was a waste of time. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is. Maybe as is? Could be. Moment. Maybe a sec. Okay. Let's see if we can clean this up. Long, easy stride. Four letters. Well, if Alba's right, I guess this could be a lope. Something I really associate more with, like, <clears throat> deer, but, <laughs> uh, like, much <clears throat> Cajun chicken. I'm assuming this is blackened. You'll have to forgive me. I got a little wine down in my lungs just now. Okay. Group of two. Well, first of all, I want to get back up to the top, but I do believe it's a dyad. I just can't ever remember if it's a DI or DY, so we'll find that out. You've convinced me, sold, sprinkle in, could be add. Uh, I de a device identifier in computer, in computing. Um, well, I don't think it's got anything to do with an iPad. I think this might be an IP, IP address. Um, maybe, right? Thought provoking, maybe deep. Didn't just think, maybe new. Like a quarter moon tide. I think that's neap, is it not? What do we got here? Prez's proxy is the veep. Formally a reject. How about a veto? Pentagon org, this is the Department of Defense. Drug that's dropped, could be LSD. Senior activist Lena Horn, very nice. And I'm a fan too, by the way. Love her music. Aerobic exercise option. Is this like a step class or something? I haven't seen anything. I, well, I don't go to a gym. If I'm doing anything, I might do push-ups or do a hang or squats, whatever, at home. I go for a run on occasion, do a lot of walking. Ah, Tuscan red wines. Oh, among my favorites. So... <clears throat> um, now, it's Chianti's, because I do believe this is Scusi. Baking abbreviation, maybe a teaspoon, and nuisances, maybe pests. Many stuffed cat toys, mice. I think this might be something I never clarified. Uh, like, I've got a couple of apple mice here, right? Um, I wonder if uh, they're actually mice, meaning that they're it's a computer mouse we're talking about, or are they mouses? I mean, this is something I need to look up. Unless you know, I'm just put it in the comments, and I won't have to look it up. Segment of this puzzle's race. I haven't got a clue. Okay, not yet. Where many Penobscot and uh, Passamaquoddy live, and I guess that's Maine. Get the Penobscot, but I'm not even sure how to pronounce Passamaquoddy. Uh, literature Nobelis born in French Algeria. Oh gosh, I am such a fan of Albert Camus. 
Oh, Camus. Mm. L'étrange. It's like written, The Stranger's written in like third or fifth grade level, I can't remember the actual number, uh, French. And so if you've, you know a little French, you can read The Stranger in L'étrange. Fabulous book. Segment of this puzzle's race. I haven't got a clue what we're even talking about here. I'm, I'm just going to assume this is maybe a time trial, and we're going to have to figure that out when uh, well, we're going to have to spell trial correctly to start with. And, uh, but once we get that accomplished, then we'll go to checking it and seeing if it's right. Scottish John is an Ian. Summer refresher. How about an aid? Caught some conger, so yield. Composer Roram, and that's Ned. And we just lost him year year before last, or something, or maybe it was last year. No, no, he was like a hundred years old, or something. I mean, a legend. I mean, an absolute legend. Um, wow, yeah, no, Ned Roram. Uh, gosh, I mean, he put out some of the, the best, you know, contemporary classical music, and I don't think he was even rivaled. Um, I don't know who you would even come close to putting him up against. Maybe, I, I don't even know. I mean, maybe John Williams or something, but I don't, it's, it's different. Um, I don't know. I don't know. No, he was something else. It was a real loss to lose him. I mean, it was just a genuine loss. Come on, feel the noise, band 1973. I think that's Slade. <laughs> Uh, typical ending point for this puzzles race. I don't even know what race we're talking about here. Okay, most reserved. Could be shyest, maybe? Actor Lou. So yeah, so this is almost always you're either going to get uh, Lucy Lou or Simu. And I think Simu is in um, Barbie. Uh, played one of the Kens. Uh, that's all I know. Yeah, most reserved. I'm thinking this is probably going to be shyest. And, uh... Is this the... Is this about the... Tour de France? Um... Cause I don't know if you see it in there, but I see Jean Sevizet right here in this. Um, what do we got here? Who's gal? Well, we all know the who's gal is a slammer. Kind of a funny way to put it, but yeah. Member of the genus Lepus, Lepus, and I know this, um, I think it's a rabbit. Hair, maybe? React like a startled horse. What do, why, don't we do, why don't we rear up? Why don't we rear up? Yeah, this is Champs-Élysées. Um, if I remember how to spell it correctly. Been there a whole bunch, but... Uh, didn't get stuck in a traffic circle or anything, a la Chevy Chase or whatnot. But uh, I actually drove. To, I hate driving to Paris. I much I always rather take the train and not during the Summer Olympics. But um, yeah, uh, I would always rather just take the train and walk everywhere, right? You know, or take the, you know, take the metro or something. But no, gosh, I can't even imagine. And the two times I've driven there. I, they, don't, they don't have stoplights, signs, or anything. It's just free-for-all. In the manner of, how about Allah? And in German, that's ours. A-R-Z. Oz. Oz. So, yeah. Chloris Blank, Emmy-winning actress on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. And if this does come to me, it'll be crosswordy. It's not, I don't think I ever saw an episode of it, but it's like Leecher or Leechman or something. Used to be really a popular clue, too, a long time ago. And nowadays, I, I miss the first time I've seen it in forever. Book, book in a biblioteca. And this would be a libro. Little twerp. How about a snot? <laughs> Occasion. I think we got Leachman, though. I think now I'm starting to remember there. What do we got here? Brings in, maybe earns. And a uh, fire remnant. How about an ember? Speaking of my very first punk rock band that I so lovingly serenaded my parents with in the garage. 
and it was called Distant Ember. I don't know what I was thinking. Occasion, maybe an event. All right. Mourn to death in Judaism, so probably Sat Shiva. Uh, facade is an act, maybe. Hard pattern to break, or a punny description of the climbs up the circled letters. So I've got Alps, and I've got something. I just guess we need to get over here and figure out what this something is. Some whiskeys could definitely be rice, and take in as a breath. We can draw a breath, and what do we got here? What memories are recounted in? Rotation measure, so maybe an RPM, RX riders, MDs. <clears throat> So I guess this is probably a clever way of saying past tense, you know. Now, so what do we got here? Scene Pyrenees, the Pyrenees. Okay, got it. Sorry, I had to I'm reading backwards and forwards. So we got the Alps and the Pyrenees. Yeah, I think it's got something to do with the Tour de France. Okay. I used to cycle a bunch. I mean, every weekend it was a we rode a century together, you know, 100 milers back in Texas. Uh, me and my friend Brent. I do miss it, but it's a very expensive thing and you're constantly having to air up tires and it's just, oh, uh, put your shorts on and crap. I mean, just go for a run. I just love that we, yes, it's yes. It's yes wine, we. Oui. <laughs> Mailed, sent to perhaps. I've got a, what is going on? I'm can't even blame it on a long day, though it has been a long day. I've officially been awake now for 13 hours, so it's been a long day. Food informally, maybe eats. One eschewing rose-tinted glasses. Oh, so maybe a realist? I have to admit, I mean, I go through life with the rose-colored glasses all the time. I mean, I'm just always looking for the best and everything. Like, well, maybe it's, you know... Well, maybe, you know, wound stinger. Oh, yeah, salt. Ugh. Box filled with bags. I guess we're talking about tea bags, but are we talking about a what? A, a tea caddy? Um, I don't know. Maybe we want to find out a little bit more about it before. Went against the word. And I guess since the word is capitalized got something to do with the Bible, so I'm going to say this is probably sinned. you got to really watch that capitalization. Hard patterns to break. I don't know about you, but I'm seeing vicious cycles. So the fact that I spelled that without any fat fingering is pretty, pretty amazing. And we got a C now, so I'm thinking this might be a tea caddy. So, um... Tony and uh, Tina's wedding. I have a friend that helped produce that play on Broadway. Or was it off Broadway? I can't remember. Food item quaintly. Hmm. Group of three. Huh? I guess this could be a trio. When you got enough room for a triad. Three week bike race, such as the one featured in this. Puzzle, and I do believe this is a Le Grand Tour, or what we call the Tour, Le Tour de France. Base boss informally. Well, I guess they're looking for Sarge, and depending on that sergeant's personality, they may very well be a boss, right? <laughs> Loan shark's business is probably usury. Fraction of a jewel is an erg, which is just a unit of work. British reference, the Oxford English Dictionary. How to become a whole new hue. Well, we're going to have to die for that. Clock setting standard, probably GMT. We're wearing one of those today. Um, dug up, maybe mined. And I don't know what this food item quaintly is. I... Okay, so this is a hot toddy. I get that. So if I'm wrong somewhere, I'm going to have to focus on this corner or something because I have no idea what that is. Um, I guess it's a viand, viand, 
maybe a vi and via and I don't know. I have no idea. I've never heard of this. How do we do, Bob? Oh, good. Okay, so I don't know what viand viand is, and I guess I'm going to look that up. Uh, <clears throat> but as always, uh, you very smart people, you look at these grids and, and you get stuff that I don't. You find the, the things that, that I don't see in them. Sometimes there's a hidden theme that I didn't get because, you know, I'm too busy trying to find the forest, but there's all these trees in the way and I can't see the forest because of all these trees in my way, right? You know, I kind of get... You know, horse blinders and just getting the grid done and correctly so as to not make a rear end of myself, you know, on this channel in this community, right? So you probably want to try to keep my better game going. So sometimes I miss those things. So if anybody knows what V, I, and D, V, and D, is that vitamin D maybe? Is it, I haven't got a clue, no clue, but, um. Not a whole lot of, you know, inelegant fill either, right? I mean, you got the MDs and you know, add this or whatever, but everything was just nice. And it was a nice little theme. Um, it was a good it was a good way to salute um, Le Grand Tour. And uh, fantastic. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday grid. So until then, we'll get you out of here for now. And I don't know what gimmick you want me to bring in for the goodbye slide but um, i'll think of something here in a minute but i just want to thank you all uh every time i wake up and i see that we have new subscribers and we have new comments and whatnot uh, comments from people who've never commented before and people who comment all the time i love that right it's wonderful interaction and i know people are are reading them because there's there's getting an awful lot of likes and stuff in other words it's just people learning from each other in the community we are a learning organization we're highly reliable here in our own way right uh, so that's fantastic, and it really makes me happy. So um, until tomorrow, thank you all so very much. And until then, and let's just say, how about that? Did it, can I just, like that maybe? <laughs> Sorry, I'm having too much fun with that. Um, until then, ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag noch. Wenn Sie ist hier in Deutschland, dann ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Abend noch. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Servus, grüß Gott, ciao, chin chin, and we'll see you next time. Be well. <laughs>